Thank you, and enjoy today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the entrance of our official party. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Johnson. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank Thee for this joyous occasion that brings us together as fellow airmen, leaders, families, and friends. We come this morning to celebrate the achievement of the airmen standing before us today. We thank Thee for these airmen who have worked hard and given up much to get to this day. We thank You, God, for the selfless dedication and hard work put forth by their military training instructors who each time they tapped out they remember what the tax stands for that is to totally acknowledge the price god allow us all and especially them one moment to revel in the fruits of our labor give our mti's and their families a sense of pause to appreciate the journey now, O God, grant to, to these airmen zeal to chase after truth, justice, and freedom, and may they always, always bring honor to the Air Force and to themselves. It is in your holy, mighty, and precious name that we pray. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's basic military training graduation parade. We are honored to introduce our 37th training wing leadership, beginning with the host for today's ceremony, the Commander, 37th Training Wing, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Brigadier General Trent H. Edwards and his wife, Vanessa. Today's reviewing official is the Commander, Basic Military Training, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Colonel William Fisher, accompanied by his wife, Jamie. <laughs> the Command Chief Master Sergeant, 37th Training Wing, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Chief Master Sergeant Sharon Bullard. The Acting Superintendent, Basic Military Training, Joint Base, San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Chief Master Sergeant Sandra Rios. <laughs> Although time does not permit us to introduce all of our distinguished guests, the 37th Training Wing is proud to welcome each of you. We hope you enjoy today's ceremony. Today's ceremony, the Military Training Instructor School Class 150917 will receive their campaign hats. The dark blue campaign hat these instructors will receive today has been the symbol of the MTI course since 1974. These instructors will carry on the traditions and free support of the United States Air Force as they pass on the knowledge to our newest generation of warrior airmen. Technical Sergeant Charlie Freeman. Thank 
Month's award recipient, Master Sergeant Caden Brooks. Technical Sergeant Kenneth Crankfield. Sergeant Christine Rapola.
At this time, we ask all NTIs, past and present, to stand in a sign of unity as our graduates recite the NTI Pledge.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the play of the National Anthem.
completed endless hours to ensure all training objectives are met. Today's graduates have proven through academic studies, military training, physical training, and the development of teamwork that they are ready to take their place in the United States Air Force. The flight shields you today are a representation of the enlisted force. Each flight represents an enlisted member of the Air Force who has embodied our core values and contributed to its heritage. As our graduates turn left onto the ball run to pass in our view, they will march over the enlisted heroes wall. The airmen recognized on the papers have been awarded our nation's highest honors, representing heroic and unselfish actions as members of the United States Air Force in armed conflict, including present-day operations in Afghanistan. They include seven medals of honor, 25 Air Force crosses, and 171 silver stars, awarded for bravery during encounters with hostile enemy combatants. These enlisted heroes serve to inspire all airmen to execute their duties courageously and with honor in their service to this great nation. The peace 
Squadron Commander, Technical Sergeant Melissa Jackson, Military Training Instructor, 348 Training Squadron, Hotel Jackson, Michigan. Representative Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Number 9, Baker Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Bobby May, Hotel North New York.
Army Honor graduates distinguished themselves by being ranked in the top 10% of all Army graduates in their class. The exceptional personal dedication, integrity, service to the core self, and sustained excellence in the Army display throughout the military training earned them this outstanding distinction. As the Army marched forward to the work of the military, we would like to thank the families and friends who are here in support of the Army graduates in today. Your words of encouragement to help you out the Army on behalf of the United States Air Force and Air Force Base Commander's Training, we extend our thanks to the advanced support of America's Air Force for the support of your Air Force and the greatest air power the world has ever known. Thank you. 
Thank you for your attendance and enjoy the rest of your stay at Joint Base San Antonio.